What's up, guys? I wanted to bring you a quick message. Liberalism is killing our people, literally. The idea that the only thing that is important is for every African person in the diaspora to do anything and everything they want as long as it makes them happy is not, is not a strategy for progress. Liberalism or liberal politics is not African, fundamentally. In African culture, you do what you have to do for your people and you do what you have to do for your family. And by doing so, you're doing what you need to do for yourself. Because without your people and without your family, there is no you. There may be a you, but you are at great risk in the greater society if you are by yourself. We constantly compare ourselves to the Asians or the whites or the Mexicans. One thing you notice about these people is that even though they strive to pursue individual goals, everything they do is in the context of progressing their people. The guy swinging a hammer building a house is, built, is progressing his people. The guy starting the construction company, hiring his own people, is progressing his people. The guy starting the Chinese food store, employing all of his children and feeding his community, he's progressing his people. Do you think that when a Chinese person is born and they're a little kid and their parents ask them, what do you want to do when you grow up, little buddy or little girl? Do you think they say, I want to open up a donut shop or I want to open up a liquor store or I want to open up a Chinese fast food st spot? No. But as they grow up and mature, they look in their community, they see a need, and they feel it. And that's how your community grows. Right now, as a people, we have so many of us pursuing so many different goals that do not progress our people. Every other brother you meet under the age of 30, he wants to be a rapper. Every other sister you meet under the age of 30, she wants to be a model or she wants to be some type of entertainer. These are good professions and there is a cultural benefit to these things. But overall, these are not things that progress our people. Sit your sons and your daughters down. Draw up a plan with them. Son, honey, daughter, if what you want to do does not work out, what are you going to do the minute you realize that this is something that's not going to happen and you need to pivot and go in a different direction? We have this saying in our community, never give up on your dreams. I would not encourage anybody to give up on their dreams, but recognize when your dreams and goals need to change. Everyone is constantly adjusting. Everyone is constantly, constantly evolving. Our people... Our African people need to learn to do the same. One of the things when I was young, I wanted to play football. When I went to college, played my years, decided I wasn't passionate about it anymore. What did I do? I sat around on the couch for like three or four years, not doing anything. One of the main reasons I did that is because I had no guidance or instructions. I had no older person to come to me and say, look, man. Football didn't work out for you, but you can make a lot of money doing a trade or going to school for a certain degree. No one came to me and said, hey, football didn't work out, but you could be a welder and make over $100,000 a year and have a wonderful life. No one came to me and said, you can be an electrician and make over $100,000 a year and have a great life. What, where would I be now if... I did not waste that four years sitting on the couch, subconsciously sulking about my football career. I don't know where I would be. I don't even want to speculate, but I'll let you speculate. Where would you be if you had someone to come to you at a young age and say, sir or ma'am, even though this or that didn't work out for you, or this is not a realistic goal for you anymore, here are some other options of things you can do that can give you just as much satisfaction 
and a sense of fulfillment. Instead, we get people saying, do what you want to do. Let it all hang out. Whatever makes you happy. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's nothing right with that either. If it leads to what we have now, a bunch of people who refuse to fall in line behind leadership or step up into the role of leadership who don't want to listen to anybody because they believe that their number one priority in life is just to do whatever they want to do and do whatever makes them happy. That is not anyone's goal. Men, women, supporting families. I'm sure going to sit at a nine to five job every day is not everything you wanted to do in life, but you realize you have a family and you have to do what you have to do for that family to survive, progress, and thrive. This is the same with our people. We need to let go of this spirit of liberalism. We need to adopt the spirit of conservatism and socialism. We need to start helping each other and doing things for more than just our own personal benefit. We need to start at least considering how things we do impacts our people as a whole. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful Thursday. <laughs> Goodbye.